let John and Luke talk a minute about the European Press Conference. Thank you, Diane. I'll, I'll just take a couple of minutes to announce the event in Europe. So that's the sixth edition uh, of the I2B2 Transmart Academic User Meeting. It's gonna take place in Geneva, end of October, beginning of November. So hurry up, registration closes on July 15th. So we're gonna discuss a lot of uh, interesting topics spanning from identity management in federated environments, management of information within I2B2 and Transmart, privacy and security, especially given the new general data protection regulation in Europe, is creating a lot of troubles. And then uh, <clears throat> clinical outcomes, so uh, how user uses in Europe high to be doing Transmart, and they and do these tools fulfill the, their expectations. So we're gonna have a lot of invited speakers. Some of them you I guess are familiar to you, but from US and, and from, uh, from Europe. And but we're also seeking contribution from you guys. So uh, the call uh, the call for contributions is online. So you can submit an abstract and give a talk at the at the event. So don't hesitate. And then uh, last but not least, I wanted to say that if you are not motivated to come to Switzerland, we are organizing not motivated enough. We are organizing a gala dinner on a crusade on a Belle Epoque boat. Um, so we wait for you there. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're up. Let me tell you, um, I grew up in Switzerland. I still have Swiss passport. When I was 17 years old, uh, 40 years ago, <laughs> my high school graduation night was on that boat. Learning how to drink too much on a boat like that is, is something, it's gorgeous. It's unbelievable. You're going around, you see on the one side the Jura Mountains, on the other side the French Alps, the Salon. It's, it's unbelievable. I was born in one of those hospitals, Hotel Fontenay de Genève. I better be invited. <laughs> And you can, they have this um, open area where you can see these gleaming 19th century cylinders pumping away at the, um, these wheels. So it's a great place. And I don't know if the people at University of Geneva will show you around, but some of the most pioneering stuff done in electronic health records actually work and don't distract was done at University of Geneva. But, but I don't know if they've been overtaken by the usual uh, vendor suspects. 